Man, this bugger that I tell you last week only, man, this one bloody bugger, he messaged me on Facebook, man. Hey, bro, can you help me find a bloody guitar player and a drummer, he says. Man, I'm like, bloody what, I look like the bloody yellow pages to you or what? Do I look like a telephone directory that I'll have numbers of bass players and drummers or whatever you want? Wait, wait, I got two guitar players in my pocket, I'll take out and give you. What, you're still waiting or what? Tyler. Hey guys, welcome to my band building videos. My name is Demon Stealer. Last week we spoke about naming your band and this week I want to talk about how to find band members. Believe it or not, over the years many people have messaged me on social media and asked me, hey man, I'm looking for a guitar player or I'm a singer looking for a band or I'm a drummer and so on and so forth. And I myself have had quite a tough time looking for band members, you know. Uh, not so much now that I'm in bands that are fairly well known, but uh, when I started out back in 98, I remember I used to actually walk in my college and every time I met a new person, I'd be like, hey, nice to meet you. Do you know anyone who plays drums? And I was the guy always looking for a drummer. And it actually took me two years to find the members for Demonic Resurrection. So I do understand that finding band members is not an easy task. So here are some tips that will hopefully make your life a little easier when it comes to finding band members. Point number one, go to gigs and meet people. Yeah, man, gigs are great places to make friends, man. I met this guy there only. One gig it was, man. Long back. Can't remember. Remember or no? He also didn't remember. But it was good. We've been together ever since. Sir. Thank you. Yep, yeah, believe it or not, it's really important to be social because at the end of the day, you know, we are looking to find band members, people who we're going to be able to hang out with, jam with, share a musical identity with. And the truth is gigs are a great place to actually make new friends, you know. Uh, I've met so many people at gigs and especially metal gigs, there is kind of that brotherhood there because, you know, you're all together in the front row headbanging or you're moshing and, you know, somebody falls, you pick them up. You, you guys are bros already, you know. So that's a great place to meet people. And I keep encouraging young musicians to go out for gigs. Even if your band is not playing, attend the show. Meet a random bunch of metalheads. Say hello, you've got metal in common. You can talk and you know, they're like you. They're upcoming young musicians who want to form a band most of the time. So that's a great way to meet people and probably find your future band member. Point number two use social media effectively man bloody last week only this band guy i saw him looking at one girl's photo your big bloody jug she had and he writing the nice eyes man he's not fooling anyone man i tell you these guys on facebook only to like babes photos man chicks all they want is chicks nobody wants bandmates all lies man bloody thieves so a lot of people really don't get social media they'll probably copy paste one message in a thousand facebook groups or they'll just spam musicians they know with like hey bro can you help me find a guitarist and so on and so forth but there's more to social media yes obviously use your own network of people you know post a status if you're looking for band members send out a tweet if you're do doing things like tweeting or if you're posting on any other platform where hashtags are important use the right hashtags to find people also, it makes sense to kind of locate musician communities in your area or, you know, uh, look for music forums where people from your area interact. So things like that are important, not just messaging people on Facebook asking for musicians. You can also target the right Facebook groups. You know, I'm sure there are plenty of Facebook groups just for people to find bands of musicians. If you live in a certain area or a certain country, there may even be websites dedicated to that. So use the Google search, use the Facebook search, use the Twitter search. Find the right places on social media to look for band members. Don't just go spam the fucking world. Point number three, get in touch with music teachers. Eh, get in touch with the teacher, not touching the teacher. Yep, believe it or not, if you're a budding upcoming musician who's learning music and you're looking for bandmates, a teacher is a great person to connect with to try and find potential bandmates. You know, drum teachers will always have drum students who are also looking for guitar players to jam with if you're a guitar player. Or a vocal teacher may, you know, be able to assist you in finding a good singer for your band. So, 
be in touch with teachers you know or if you're in a music school obviously that's another great place to meet uh, other students who may be looking to form a band so this is an important resource that many overlook I feel so get in touch with the teachers in your area or even the music schools and try and find your potential bandmate there boy this is really starting to sound like a bloody matrimony ad find your bandmate point number four hang out at music stores hello hey man Rodriguez, you want to go to Xavier's and check out the chicks or what Ah, after that we can go to Fatatos and jam, man. Ah, come, come, man. We'll go. Check, Xavier's. Yep, you can hang out at your local music store and you may run into musicians there. In fact, to be really honest, Fatatos in uh, Bombay, the Marine Line store, is actually a place where so many musicians have met and formed bands, you know. Uh, I personally met Daniel Rego, the guitarist, ex-guitarist of Demonic Resurrection at Fatatos and that's how I discovered him. I saw him there shredding on the guitar and then when our guitar player Pradeep was leaving the band, I knew immediately that that kid who I saw playing in Furtados was meant to join DR. So, so go to your local music store, jam there. Hopefully you will buy something eventually so they won't throw you out. But a lot of stores are open to having people coming and hanging out and jamming. So that's a great place to meet musicians again. Point number five, put an ad in the paper. So this is very subjective, um, not really relevant to maybe people living in India. But if you are living in a community where you have local uh, newsletters or uh, local metal magazines or any music magazines, uh, you could always use that resource. Well, in India, actually, we have a magazine called uh, Great Metal. So you could probably put like a classified in that. You could probably, uh, you know, if there are any other kind of music publications, you could look at that as a way of putting out an ad of some sort. Well, this isn't something that's applicable to everyone living everywhere, but an ad always might help in any kind of publication that is suited for, you know, your kind of music. And finally, I'm going to say that finding a band member is not easy. You may not find a band member for a long time, but don't let that deter you from playing music. Hey bugger, when you got no chicks to bang, what do you do? You help yourself, no? So continue, same, same, same. And here's the thing, today we have the technology, people have the knowledge, we can be independent musicians, you can record at home, you can release your own music without having a band and that is a great place to start. And a perfect example of that is uh, Keshav Dhar from Sky Harbor. He was a guitar player, he just wrote songs in his, in his bedroom and he put them online and he found band members from all over the world. So today if you are a musician and suppose you live in Patna and you can't find a drummer who plays 220 BPM but you think you are a kick ass guitar player, you can be recording your songs at home, uploading them on your SoundCloud or on YouTube. You never know, maybe some drummer in Egypt who kicks ass finds your music and you guys collaborate. Another example is Rishabh Sitar from Delhi. Uh, he's collaborated with some guys from all across the world now because he's looking for band members who he may not have found in his city. So he's got a drummer in Bangalore, he's got a guitar player abroad somewhere. So today you are not limited to just the musicians in your city. You can communicate with people all over the world. You can jam with people all over the world. So I think there's no excuse or there's nothing stopping you from finding band members and making your band happen. So I hope this video helped you and I hope you picked up enough tips and tricks to find band members. And if you're in a band and if you have got a subject that you are confused about and you want me to make a video about it, leave me a comment below and I will probably pick on that topic in a future episode. So give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you on my next band building vlog or blog. And I hope these videos are really helping you. Cheers and keep being in a band. Maybe, I don't know. Man, next time you'll bloody want to find your quotas also, you'll message me. Where are my quotas? Bloody in your chaddi, man.